China's Mars orbiter has made a groundbreaking contribution to the study of 3I Atlas, a comet from interstellar space, by capturing images that reveal significant changes in the comet's behavior during a period when NASA's data was notably missing. The images taken by China's orbiter document a brighter coma, a wider dust cloud, and a sharp rise in light, changes that were not visible in NASA's earlier observations. These observations were made at a critical point in time when the comet passed closest to the Sun, known as perihelion, and the object began to reveal its true nature. What makes these findings so important is that NASA, despite their comprehensive efforts to capture the object, did not record data during the key period when these changes took place. This gap has left many questions about the true nature of the object unanswered, questions that China's new images now help to address. Let's begin by exploring the unique characteristics of this interstellar object, 3I Atlas. This comet, which has traveled across the vast expanse of interstellar space, is a rare and unique phenomenon. It is the third ever interstellar object observed from Earth. The object has passed close enough to the Sun for its activity to be visible, and it has provided astronomers with an unprecedented opportunity to study the behavior of an object from outside our solar system. 3I Atlas, which has been the subject of much scientific interest, is a testament to the unpredictability of interstellar bodies. As it approached the Sun, it was expected to show typical comet-like behavior, such as the formation of a coma and tail, which happens when the solar radiation heats up the comet, causing its ices to sublimate into gas and dust. However, what China's orbiter revealed in its images was a dramatic change in the appearance and activity of the comet. The images taken during the perihelion period, when the object was closest to the Sun, show a comet that behaved much more dynamically than the relatively quiet object observed by NASA before perihelion. This transformation is not just a minor difference in appearance. It represents a change in the comet's internal activity, giving scientists a rare opportunity to study the rapid evolution of an object as it responds to solar heating. In China's images, the coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding the comet's nucleus, was not the faint and thin structure observed by NASA. Instead, it had expanded to a diameter of roughly 400,000 kilometers, which is about three times the size of Earth. This sudden and dramatic expansion is significant because it indicates that the comet's surface was releasing material at a much faster rate than previously expected. NASA's data, taken during a quieter period before perihelion, showed a much smaller, more stable coma. The difference between these two sets of observations is a key point of interest for scientists, as it suggests that the comet underwent a substantial increase in activity as it approached the Sun. What's particularly striking about these observations is the timing. NASA's data ends before perihelion, during a time when the comet was relatively calm. However, China's orbiter captured data during the peak of the comet's activity, when it was most active. This is crucial, as perihelion is the point in a comet's orbit when it experiences the most significant heating from the Sun. The heat causes the comet's surface to rapidly warm up, causing it to release gas and dust which forms the coma and tail. This is the period when the comet's internal processes are most active, and it provides scientists with valuable insights into how the object reacts to solar radiation. Another significant difference between the two sets of observations is the change in the comet's tail. NASA's images show a straight tail, which is the expected direction for dust to travel when the object is under the influence of solar radiation. However, China's images show a slight bend in the tail, indicating that the flow of dust was not uniform. This bend suggests that a fresh jet may have opened on the comet's surface, pushing the dust in a new direction. This is an important discovery, as it provides evidence that the comet was undergoing dynamic changes that were not visible in NASA's images. The presence of a bent tail is often seen in comets that experience bursts of activity when new jets of gas and dust are released from the surface. The increased brightness observed by China's orbiter is also noteworthy. NASA's observations showed a gradual and steady increase in the comet's brightness as it approached the Sun. In contrast, China's images recorded a sharp increase in brightness within a short period, indicating that something dramatic was happening on the comet's surface. This sudden burst of light is likely the result of a rapid release of gas and dust, which can occur when a section of the comet's surface is heated to the point where the ice beneath it begins to vaporize. This is a well-documented phenomenon in comets where certain regions of the comet's surface release material in a burst, causing a sudden spike in brightness. 
the composition of the dust surrounding the comet also changed. NASA's data showed that the coma was composed mainly of fine dust particles, which typically come from the outermost layers of the comet. However, China's images revealed that the coma contained larger dust grains, suggesting that deeper layers of the comet's surface had been exposed. This is a significant discovery, as it indicates that the surface of the comet was not just warming up gradually, but undergoing a more complex process in which material from deeper layers was being released. Larger dust grains form when the stronger, more compact layers of the comet's surface break apart under the influence of heat. Spectroscopic analysis from the Chinese spacecraft revealed a stronger carbon dioxide signature than what was detected in NASA's pre-gap observations. This is another key piece of evidence that suggests the comet's surface was undergoing more rapid changes than previously thought. The presence of carbon dioxide is significant because it indicates that the comet's ice is more volatile than water ice, and it tends to lie deeper beneath the surface. When sunlight reaches these deeper layers, the ice vaporizes, releasing gas into space. This release is often accompanied by a distinct chemical signature, which is what scientists observed in China's data. The increased carbon dioxide signal further supports the idea that the comet was undergoing a dramatic transformation as it approached the sun. One of the most important aspects of these new observations is the refinement of the comet's trajectory. China's data helped to reduce uncertainty in the object's path, providing a clearer prediction of where the comet will be as it moves away from the sun. This is important because it allows scientists to better understand how the comet will continue to move through the solar system and what its eventual fate might be. The improved accuracy of the trajectory also provides insights into the forces acting on the comet as it moves through space, including the influence of the solar wind and the ejected dust particles. The data collected by China during the perihelion phase also helped to clarify the nature of the comet's surface. The changes in brightness, tail shape, and dust composition suggest that the comet's surface is not uniform, but rather consists of different layers with varying properties. This is a crucial discovery, as it provides clues about the conditions under which the comet formed and the history of its evolution. The fact that the comet's surface can react so dramatically to solar heating suggests that it has not been exposed to such intense heat for a very long time and that it has preserved its internal structure over billions of years. As the comet moves farther from the sun, its activity will gradually subside. The coma will shrink and the tail will become less pronounced. The surface will cool and the release of gas and dust will slow down. However, the data collected by China during the active phase of the comet provides scientists with a rare opportunity to study the behavior of an interstellar object as it reacts to solar radiation. This information is crucial for understanding how such objects behave and how they interact with their environment. In the future, scientists will continue to study the data collected from both NASA and China's observations. By combining these two datasets, they can create a more complete picture of how 3i Atlas behaves over time. The missing hours captured by China are the key to understanding the comet's transformation from a quiet, predictable object to a more dynamic and active one. These observations also highlight the importance of continuous monitoring during perihelion when the comet is most active. The period around perihelion is when the comet is most likely to undergo significant changes and it is critical for scientists to have access to data from this period in order to fully understand the object's behavior. The findings from China's orbiter represent a significant step forward in the study of interstellar objects. By documenting the changes that took place during perihelion, China's images have provided scientists with a unique opportunity to study how objects from outside our solar system react to solar radiation. These observations offer valuable insights into the nature of interstellar objects and the conditions under which they form. As more interstellar objects are discovered in the future, the lessons learned from 3i Atlas will help astronomers better understand the origins and behavior of these mysterious visitors from beyond our solar system. As we delve deeper into the findings from China's Mars orbiter, it's crucial to recognize just how rare and exceptional these observations of 3i Atlas are. Interstellar objects, bodies that originate outside our solar system, are a rare phenomenon, and the discovery of 3i Atlas marks only the third such object observed from Earth. The first, Oumuamua, captured global attention with its strange characteristics, while the second, 2i Borisov, provided more traditional cometary behavior. However, 3i Atlas is different in many ways. 
its trajectory, its chemical composition, and its response to solar radiation all give us valuable clues about the materials and conditions that exist in other star systems. These clues help to build a better picture of the diversity of planetary systems that may exist beyond our own. 3i Atlas entered the solar system on a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it is not gravitationally bound to the Sun. This makes it a one-time visitor, passing through the solar system before continuing its journey through interstellar space. The timing of its passage was critical in shaping the data we have today. While NASA's observations were useful, they only captured the object during a relatively stable period, before the comet had reached its closest approach to the Sun. This is where China's images come in, capturing the comet at its most dynamic, during its perihelion, when solar radiation began to have a much stronger impact on the object's surface. The transformation of 3i Atlas from a relatively calm object into one showing sudden bursts of activity is not only scientifically exciting, but also helps us understand more about the behaviour of comets in general. While comets are typically known for developing tails and comas as they approach the Sun, 3i Atlas's reaction was far more pronounced than what was seen in NASA's earlier images. This shift in activity, documented by China, helps to confirm that the comet is a typical comet in terms of its internal composition and behaviour, but with an additional twist due to its interstellar origin. The more active behaviour captured by China tells us that the comet's surface is made of layers of ice and dust, with deeper, more volatile materials that become exposed under solar heat. The deeper ice layers, when warmed by the sun, cause a dramatic release of material, creating the coma and tail we see. China's observations also give us an opportunity to compare and contrast the behaviour of interstellar comets with those that come from our solar system. NASA's early images showed the object's coma as thin and faint, which suggested that the surface of 3i Atlas was not undergoing dramatic changes at that point. However, as we learned from China's images, the coma grew dramatically, expanding to about 400,000 kilometers in diameter. This is nearly three times the size of Earth, marking a stark contrast to the earlier, more stable coma observed by NASA. This sudden growth suggests that solar radiation reached deeper layers of the comet's surface, causing a rapid and significant release of material. This change in the size of the coma is a direct result of the heating of the comet's surface, which is typical for comets that come very close to the Sun. The solar heating during perihelion is a critical moment for comets. When sunlight strikes the surface of a comet, it heats the ice that is trapped beneath the surface. The heat causes this ice to vaporize, creating the coma, a cloud of gas and dust that envelops the comet's nucleus. This process also leads to the formation of the comet's tail, as the solar wind pushes the gas and dust away from the nucleus. But what makes 3 Atlas different is that it is not just another run-of-the-mill comet from our solar system. It comes from outside the solar system, meaning it carries with it material from a completely different star system. As a result, it is a living example of material that could potentially tell us more about the conditions in distant solar systems and the kinds of comets that form around other stars. The changes in the tail of 3i Atlas are also noteworthy. NASA's images showed a straight tail, which was typical for the object as it passed through the solar system. However, China's images showed a bend in the tail, indicating a shift in the direction of dust flow. This bending could be the result of fresh jets opening on the comet's surface, pushing dust in a new direction. This shift in tail direction suggests that the comet's surface was undergoing dynamic changes, not just as a result of solar heating, but also due to the comet's internal processes. These internal processes are likely driven by the composition of the comet's surface layers, which were exposed to sunlight in ways that they had not been before. The presence of a bent tail adds another layer of complexity to our understanding of how comets behave, especially when they come from interstellar space. Along with the changes in the coma and tail, China's images revealed a significant increase in the comet's brightness. NASA's observations, taken before perihelion, showed a steady increase in brightness as the comet approached the Sun. However, China's images captured a sharp spike in brightness during the perihelion period. This sudden increase in brightness suggests that the comet underwent a rapid release of gas and dust, which can happen when a section of the comet's surface heats up quickly and releases material in a burst. This phenomenon is not uncommon in comets, and it's been observed before in other comets, such as 17P Holmes in 2007, when it brightened by a factor of 500,000 in a matter of hours. 
While the change in 3i Atlas's brightness was not as dramatic, it follows a similar pattern, showing that the comet responded to solar heating with a quick and intense release of material. In addition to the changes in the coma, tail and brightness, the composition of the gas and dust surrounding the comet also changed. NASA's observations indicated that the coma was mostly composed of fine dust particles, which are typically found in the outer layers of a comet's surface. However, China's images showed that the coma contained larger grains of dust, which suggests that deeper layers of the comet's surface had been exposed. This is an important finding, as it tells scientists that the comet's internal structure is layered, with older, more compact ice beneath a softer, more fragile outer shell. This layered structure is significant because it suggests that the comet has been preserved over billions of years and that its surface has not been exposed to significant solar heating for a long time. The stronger carbon dioxide signature in China's images also adds to the understanding of the comet's composition. Carbon dioxide is more volatile than water ice, and it tends to be buried deeper beneath the comet's surface. When sunlight reaches these deeper layers, the carbon dioxide vaporizes and escapes into space, leaving a distinct chemical signature. The increased carbon dioxide signal in China's data suggests that sunlight reached deeper layers of the comet's surface, causing the release of gas that had been trapped for billions of years. This carbon dioxide signature is important because it provides clues about the conditions under which the comet formed and the types of ices that exist in its interior. The discovery of a strong carbon dioxide signal supports the idea that the comet came from a colder, more volatile region of space. The data collected by China during the perihelion phase also helped refine the comet's trajectory. This is important because 3i Atlas is on a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it is not bound to the Sun and will continue its journey through interstellar space. By capturing data during the period of strongest solar heating, China was able to reduce uncertainty in the comet's path, providing a more accurate prediction of its future position. This information is critical for understanding the forces acting on the comet as it moves through space and for predicting where it will go next. As 3i Atlas moves farther from the Sun, its activity will gradually decrease. The coma will shrink, the tail will become less pronounced, and the surface will cool. However, the data collected during the perihelion phase provides scientists with a rare opportunity to study how an interstellar object reacts to solar radiation. The changes observed in the comet's behavior during this period will be studied for years to come. The scientists seek to understand how interstellar objects behave and how they interact with stars. The observations from both NASA and China's spacecraft provide a more complete picture of 3i Atlas's behavior. By combining these two sets of data, scientists can study the full range of the comet's activity, from its quiet state before perihelion to the dynamic burst of activity captured by China's orbiter. These data will help scientists refine their models of cometary behavior and improve their understanding of how interstellar objects behave as they pass through our solar system. The missing frames that China captured during the perihelion period are crucial because they provide the missing context for understanding the changes that occurred in 3i Atlas. The study of 3i Atlas is important not only for understanding this particular comet, but also for learning more about the conditions in other star systems. By studying the composition and behavior of interstellar objects, scientists can gain valuable insights into how planets and comets form in other parts of the galaxy. The differences between the two sets of observations, NASA's data before perihelion and China's data during perihelion, highlight the importance of continuous monitoring during the most active phases of a comet's orbit. Without the missing frames from China, scientists would have been left with an incomplete picture of how the comet behaves during its closest approach to the Sun. In the future, the study of interstellar objects will continue to be a crucial area of research. As more interstellar objects are discovered, scientists will need to ensure that they have the necessary tools and methods to observe these objects continuously throughout their orbits. The lessons learned from 3i Atlas and the differences between NASA's and China's data will help astronomers refine their strategies for studying these rare visitors from beyond our solar system. By capturing more complete data sets, scientists can gain a deeper understanding of the processes that shape these objects and how they interact with their environment,